I've never seen a park for statues before. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write our story. Wanna shape the new. So we are at Memento Park. It's basically just a, a park with, I think it was 50 different statues from the communist era. things I really like about Budapest is its awesome public transportation system. Once you've got a card, you can pretty much go anywhere. The tram system is really easy. Um, it just runs so frequently. You don't have to look up timetables or anything. You always just go for number two goes along Pest, which is where we stayed, four and six cross into Buda. Um, this is a park where they've taken all of the um, statues that were created during the communist regime and they've put them into one area. Every other city that we visited has actually destroyed them. They've taken a sledgehammer to them because they just didn't want to remember the past. Uh, I think it's a really great thing what they've done here. Uh, it would be a pity if some of the statues that you'll see had been destroyed. Whether the past was good or bad, it is part of your history and it should be recorded. So it can be pretty confusing at first to figure out how to get to, from one place to another. So two things that we've been using, one, bkk.hu, they have like a journey planner there, which unfortunately isn't available on their online app. So yeah, you just have to have the website up. And the other thing is we use Google Maps a lot. Um, for, for Budapest, it is really well uh, maintained. We've never had an issue with those two at all. Got a restless mind And now I won't let go So let us be crazy Before we're cold You can take us out Your doubts won't hold yep, us right. down yep. Cause we're yep. gonna light up The sky where we go <laughs> oh, oh Do you wanna Do you wanna come along with me Come along with me Do you wanna Surprise! <laughs> what exactly are you doing to that statue? I don't think it's natural. Statues are alive! Yes, they are now. Just finished going through Memento Park. I thought it was well worth it. Yep, you? It, I did. And I think we spent about an hour there. Yeah. And how much did it cost? It was uh, 1,500 foreign. It was about 5 euro. 5 euro. Oh, that's, yeah, that's nothing. And I think it's a great way, like a great little nod to this you know, that era of the Hungarian past. What? Just checking I'm bringing my wife home, not a statue. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference on some of them. <laughs> So these are special um, BKK passes. We got monthly passes for 30 euro. See, your other option is to get the Budapest pa pass, which is also 30 euro. Gives you unlimited travel, just like this one, and adds in some discounts to popular tourist attractions. The problem is, that's just for two days. This is for a month. And just like to point out that this covers um, rail, it covers bus, it covers a tram, and it covers ferry. If you're staying longer than two days, you're better off just getting a monthly pass. This 
is our last mango bush in Budapest. Unless they had lime bush. I'm really going to miss Budapest. This is mine. I'm not sharing it. Definitely miss this. Yeah, this is the same thing except in bowls. I'm going Oh, yeah. You really have to taste these to appreciate how good they are. This is the sort of machine that we got our monthly passes from and it's pretty easy you just um, everything's in English or at least you can select it to be in English and it's just so handy in general we have found that it's better to just use the machines rather than you know try to buy it from somebody at the counter it's just it eliminates all um, misunderstandings if you can just get it in English like it's snowing. Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels.